high school, too. She has had an amazing career, nearly 1,200 career kills, 150 aces, the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year, an all Pac-12 performer as well, looking to lift her team, always plays great in matchups like these. A very similar career has been had by Marta Levinska, but she's been hot of late. The conference's Offensive Player of the Week, her career, nearly 1,200 kills, 660 digs, and her career as well out of Riga, Latvia. What she has done, certainly, you saw what she did, a couple of MVPs at events. You see what she is doing as far as hitting. This whole ASU team, it needs to be mentioned, is really, really hitting clean. A very high percentage. We will get into that throughout the evening. But otherwise, what else do you need to say? You say Arizona, you say Arizona State. It doesn't matter the sport, but tonight inside of Bullet, it's volleyball. When we come back, we'll set it up and hope to knock it right over for a power spike. Glad to have you with us. Let's do it. Pac-12 Our Stories takes you behind the curtain. Watch the latest episode anytime on Pac-12 Now. Mental health is extremely important. We often think about the health of our bodies. Being a full-time student, a full-time athlete, if your mind's not there, then your body won't follow. You can play the game for a certain amount of time, but you have your mental health for the rest of your life. Being able to know what you're feeling and being in tune with that is kind of really important to mental health. I think that there's a misconception that it's tough to internalize and keep things to yourself, but what's really tough is having real conversations. Please reach out to somebody. Somebody is there to help you. Everyone's got your best interest in mind. I think people underestimate how important it is to have people around you when you're growing. Don't be afraid to, you know, check in on your teammates, even the silly ones that are always in a good mood. You never know what they're going through. It's important to, you know, just every once in a while take a take a step back. That's why for me, meditation is one of the most important things. I'm a big fisherman. I go fishing when I'm back at home. You always need time away from football to focus on yourself because we're way more than athletes. Road to national championships runs through NCAA.com. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. We are going there to win. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com, the home of college sports. Pac-12 Women's Volleyball is brought to you by Clean Simple Eats, elevating life through food and fitness. And powered by Sprouts Farmer's Market, the official grocer of the Pac-12. Ride the light rail right into Tempe, Arizona, right on across Mill Avenue. What a great atmosphere here at Mullet Arena tonight. They twisted the right arm, certainly, this volleyball program. And brand new head coach J.J. Van Neal to put this one together. This is the ice rink down below, obviously, this great surface, but it makes you think when you look around at these gorgeous facilities, play as much as you can, as often as you can here inside of Mullet. They've got a great mosh pit down on the far end zone for the fans. That would technically be the west end zone for the fans. So a couple of players to watch. Let's throw them at you. Jalen Hodge is so much fun and talented. As a matter of fact, local product, a Phoenician, the 19 Gatorade Player of the Year. She's gone a full kills percent higher freshman to senior year. Then their setter, Anna Heath, you can see nine and a half assists per set, 54 assists and five aces against GCU in a win. Jelly Sears, the most efficient passer in the nation. So say the advanced metrics, and Manny McLaughlin can be very dangerous up front. Her block game, 44 on the season. Yeah, great atmosphere, as we have talked about. It's a perfect 12-0 start for ASU. This is their home opener, and this is a series that has been just about back and forth, very close with Arizona leading all time. The 104th meeting, Territorial Cup points are up for grabs. Wildcats 6-4 and four in the last 10. J.J. Van Neal on one side, the new coach for ASU, and Sharita Stubbs steps in. She has so long been a leader with this program. Dave Rubio retires with his 700 career wins, 32 years. That was his right-hand woman for so long. What an obvious choice. What a big, big personality and leadership she provides. JJ on the other side as well. His most recent opportunity, assisting as the associate head coach for USC. And he's excited to move his family here. Let's play this home opener. 
Well, we've been looking forward to this, and with this kind of atmosphere, this is exciting as Shannon Shields, the setter, starts it with the serve. Right away, a big swing by Jalen Hodge, but it was redirected. The block game, front and center for Arizona early on. Abello had her hands full with the big swing a moment ago. Front set, the lefty. And right away, Marta Levinska with her first kill from Riga, Latvia. 156 kills in the year, just under 4%, hitting 372. This team hits clean. Their numbers are outstanding as a team this year. Matter of fact, tops in the nation hitting 349 as a team coming in. They don't hurt themselves very often. Pretty touched by Sofia Maldonado Diaz and right on the other side, a dink from Levinska. That one deep just inside the line, Jalen Hodge from Queen Creek, Arizona. Basha High School, not too far from here. One of those players to watch. She had 19 kills in a loss, a three-set loss with nine digs against Miami. Hodge, 3.27 kills per set. Elena Johnson, AJ starts it with the serve and hands a point to ASU, just getting started here. Yeah, Elena Johnson playing in her 42nd set of the year. Yeah, the the numbers are pretty crazy. As a matter of fact, opponents hit just 127 against ASU this year. That's a swing of 222 points percentage-wise from what they hit to what they give up. So an incredible start for J.J.'s team. Long set from the attack line. Jelly Sear runs right up against it, and she'll swing it again. Dug out very nicely by Maldonado Diaz. The miscue. Point Devils, 3-1. J.J. Van Neal, why? Why did, why did you choose it? Well, my family loved it. It's a great place to raise a family. I loved coming here. This is a program that successful check. Can it be interest check? Look at the crowd. And can you recruit here? Check, check, and check. J.J. really excited for this opportunity. A lot of passion. Beautiful touch. McLaughlin steps up. Great decision. 4-1 Devils on top. And though J.J. is an advanced metric man through and through, he loves digging deep with the science of the sport. He's a massive relationship man. Very big on playing cards with his players. Look, they've been on the road to start the year the entire time. Abello keeps it alive. Big swing by Maldonado Diaz and Sear with an effective bump over. Dug out nicely. That's Mary Schroll. We'll introduce you to her. It's kept alive. Not that time. Block at the net. The wall was built. And a strong one. Anna Heath up front. Joy Gallus as well. Good work at both USC and Utah. And as a matter of fact, he recruited one player that plays on his current team, Shannon. He did a great job trying to bring Shannon Shields to play for him. It wasn't the right fit. Now Shannon Shields does play for him, the local product. Oh, baby, what a swing by Marta Levinska. The psychology major, the senior. Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Week. Look, she's been an, been an MVP already of two tournaments. They've played three. They've won them all. She's been an MVP of two of them. That's the start of the year for Levinska. And this team can serve ASU. Leading this conference in aces. The first thing we worked on, said J.J., Sear with the kill. Jelly with three and a half kills per set, hitting 334 on the year. There's this kind of unique little peer pressure when you hit now for ASU. You better hit above 250 or you might get giggled off the hardwood. That's how good they have been. Tough serves to deal with. Dug out nicely. Cromarty rotates on number eight in that home jersey. There she is again. Levinsko with a touch. Arizona looking to grab a little bit of momentum, and that's who will do it for them. What a career she has had. Three and a half kills per set. She had one point. Maldonado Diaz was a member of the Mexican national team at the U18 and the U20 age group. She's got 12 
100 career kills. This is absolutely her team. She's a lieutenant, but her squad is down right now, 7-3. I'm telling you, the 942 crew mosh pit, great idea. Really good idea down there. Some energy down on the far end. Levin School serve. Marta's got 24 aces this year. That one wide, 8-3 Devils. Arizona has a team hitting 230 coming in. Opponents hit 201. Georgia Mandotti with the dig there a moment ago, 15 in the libero jersey. She has been a breath of fresh air for this team. As that one is deep set, eight for the number, as you take a look at Sear. But Mandotti on the other side from Italy, playing as a freshman, moving to another country. She'll serve it now. And playing as a freshman, she rooms with the senior, Maldonado Diaz, and that was crushed by AJ. Elena Johnson with the kill. You talk about best starts in the history of these programs for ASU. They couldn't stop this one. This is the third best ever start, though. Back in 1973, where were most of you in 1973? They went 21 and 0. A couple years back, 2015, they went 15 and 0. This is third best. Sophia with a hammer. I mean, I was here in 1973. A lot of our viewers weren't. A lot of our viewers weren't. You know, you remember the Intermountain Conference. We all have those shirts from the Intermountain Conference, don't we? Jelly Sear, not the crusher that time. It's Jeter with the block. Claire Jeter, 34 total blocks coming in. She had seven total blocks against New Mexico State in four sets. She had nine kills as well. Look, her whole career, though, she has been dangerous up front, and she has been an effective, really effective blocker for this team. Pancake kept alive. The Italian with a beautiful play. Heck of a play by Mandotti. Got to try a little bit, don't I? Habello, right back at her. Roberta Habello ran into a wall that time from Brazil, Porto Alegre in Brazil, a senior. Opportunity to see Haven Ray go to work. She's local from Peoria, Sunrise Mountain High School. Limited playing time this year. She's playing in her 31st set, though. She comes on. Hopes to deliver a tough serve. Steps up with a really pretty dig, does Ray. A bellow! Hammer! The daughter of Simone and Jorge Hebello, MVP of the Brazilian National Cup as a prep, the fourth Brazilian player to ever play at ASU. And again, it's that great communication. Shields coming in with more than 400 assists this year. In her finest hour, Shannon Shields. Sear sends it back over after a beautiful dig on the other side. Back set, wow, what a thing of beauty that was. Elena Johnson. She talks so much about Elena does, her mom Candace. That was my travel partner. She did the car rides to and from the club volleyball. Now her partner is Anna Heath with that pretty back set. The assist to Heath that time. McLaughlin. Can't put it away. She'll get another chance. Or instead, on the backside, it will be Levinska on a back set. Two years named the best player in Latvia as an amateur. Approaching 1,200 career kills here at ASU. Great crowd tonight. Abello will open it up with the serve. 12-7, Devils on top. The net was kind, the perfect swing that time. 
Miriel and Medgar, the parents of Sofia Maldonado Diaz, Daniela Leonardo, her siblings. Coach Stubbs looks on, named the head coach in January after Dave retired. She's coached nine All-Americans in her 19 seasons on staff at Arizona. A beautiful decision, up high and quickly, Jalen Hodge with the kill. 136th on the year. Kid 15 plus 13 digs against UC Davis and a loss at Hodge. 15 kills, that is. Anna Heath starts it with the serve. Sear, just a little dink over the net. McLaughlin, Sear together, knocking that one back. Again, it's to Southpaw. Levinsko with the kill. Reigning Offensive Player of the Week in this conference. You saw Schroll start at the libero, number 11 on that jersey, the loyal to Marymount transfer. Schroll will start it. That served deep, just off the mark. Cromartie in the middle of it all, too. Shania Cromartie, outside hitter. Mississippi State transfer. At 25 kills a couple of years ago in a game against Florida in the Southeastern Conference. Jeter, thank you very much. Claire, the daughter of Rachel and Zach. This is her program. You hardly can remember that she played early on at Texas A&M. So consistent, Claire Jeter. We stop things now for just a moment. 249 total blocks in her three years here, Jeter. You know, when you're an associate head coach or an assistant, like both of these head coaches were, JJ talking about Finally, I got my opportunity. I paid very close attention to the leaders ahead of me. But he calls himself a really intentional man and was ready for this one. Having time in the spring, both these coaches named early in the year, having the spring season to get to know their players that they inherited and those they brought in through the portal. Well, we're playing some volleyball now. Back and forth they go. Sear with a pretty touch. Dug out nicely by Wilson. Hammer! Jalen Hodge. Hodge all Pac-12 last year. Matter of fact, Jalen Hodge, her kills per set have gone 2.4 to 3.3, then 3.27 this year. It's been a strong progression. Not a whole lot Chania could do that time. Cromarty. Gita runs into some hands. And Doty kept it alive with a pretty set that time. Now it's Shields. She and Levinska didn't click that time too much. Just inside that back line. The touch for Jelly. She never misses. It's a 15-11 start. And it's good to be back home for the Devils after how long they had waited on the road. Kids across America are going to school hungry. Millions of kids every day. But one simple thing can help change all of this for a hungry child in America. Good healthy food and the energy it brings. With help from caring people across America, No Kid Hungry is providing healthy meals and hope to hungry kids so they can build better futures. To learn more about ending child hunger in America, go to helpnokidhungry.org today. The NCAA is instrumental in Team USA's success at the Olympics. At the Summer Games, over 75% of Team USA's athletes competed collegially, representing over 150 U.S. colleges and universities across Divisions 1, 2, and 3. And now they compete to bring home medals for our nation. The College Athlete Experience, a building block for success. The NCAA is proud Olympians and Paralympians are made here. 
being an ally for me is supporting people in whatever makes them happy. As long as somebody's choices aren't infringing on your rights, I don't think you should ever have a say in how they feel and how they live their lives. And allowing people to be themselves is something that's really important for me. The LGBTQIA initiative is extremely important to me because not only am I a member of it, it's something that I identify with. I do believe that people should have the right to love who they want to love and to be their true and authentic selves. That's something I want to live by and that's something that I think everybody should have the right to live by. Every bourbon pecan buck, strawberry sally, or cashew carol can indulge their cravings at nuts.com. With countless delicious snacks, enjoy every flavor of happy. Right now, get free shipping on your first order. Hold it! Imagine a world with no drama. I haven't signed Jody's card yet. Ordering promotional products guaranteed to create memorable moments is an easy mission at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. You build camaraderie together when you're not at home. You're in buses, in hotel rooms, in team meals. And I know they spend a lot of time together, certainly. Big swing and a kill. Marta hammered that one. Well, that was like a dance back and forth that time from the set to the swing. Watching her and Shields work together. Beautiful touch. Right up the heel of that left hand on a back set. But you start your season just together. Lock at the net. Jeter Sear right next to each other. 21 17. And the, and the start of the road is one thing, and to build camaraderie is another. But then to not lose, I mean, that's really something. You take a look at the Massey ratings, and they have ASU, the unofficial RPI, at 15 right now. Arizona would be 78 in that number. Oregon, number three, Stanford, four, Washington State, seven, unofficial RPI. But for the Devils and for their new head coach, J.J. Van Neal, it's a 12-0 start. As we talked about earlier, best since 2015. Sweeps, and that's the interesting part of it. They've swept their last six consecutive matches. That's the second best in program history. I mean, nothing sends a statement. I don't care who you're playing. These are all still college teams they're playing. Then three into the bus. I mean, you grab it in three and you head to the bus and you're you're on your way out of the building. It's That's an incredible run they've been on. By the way, those sweeps, Northern Arizona, Boise State, Stephen F. Austin, Memphis, Little Rock, and Southern Miss. They played in the Borderland Invitational. That was at New Mexico State. 3-1, 3-1, 3-1 over UTEP, San Francisco, and then at home, New Mexico State. Wait to get started. Serve will come from Mary Schroll, Tiffany and Scott, her parents. What a career she had at Loyola Marymount. She has been important for this team. Point that time on the other side. Schroll, new to the program, and it didn't matter. When they built their leadership committee, it was voted on by the players. They voted Schroll on. Though she was new to the program, they voted her as part of the, the leadership committee for this team. It's kind of the impact she's had. Sear put it on a tee. Sofia Maldonado Diaz put it right on home. 21 19. Last time these two met up, it was a really unique match. A reverse sweep, if you will. ASU in Tucson winning the first two on senior night, 22-19. And then Coach Rubio, Coach Stubbs right by his side. They went on a run on that reverse sweep. As a matter of fact, ASU hit just 0-90 in sets four and five. It was a 3-2 Arizona win. ASU had just three sweeps overall last year. 
pins and needles as much as there has been momentum and a great crowd great statement made by Stubbs and Arizona their team right there 22 20 the freshman will serve it and a tough one to deal with Jeter closes it out a Shields I'm telling you she really is gone next level with her touch on the volleyball watching the way she is passing in this one quick decision just gave a quick eye over Shields 10.4 assists per set that's fifth in the conference Jeter with the dump set point first set set point ASU trying to put it away continue what they hope is another run of sweeps Arizona's been right there though Jelly will serve it she's got 10 aces this year nope not yet not with the swing like that oh my Jordan Wilson oh man rotating in for Jalen where needed the USC transfer has been so important she had 21 kills last year against Stanford and a big match for USC Sofia Maldonado Diaz will serve it pancake kept alive they thought they had it but they don't not yet shields back set into the net it goes 24 22 and now we'll pause it again at 24 22. You think about what Stubbs brings to this program, the time she has as a coach. At a time as a head coach, learned a lot at that point in her career. Younger head coach back in 06 to 09 at NC State, came back to the program, led as an assistant coach, and then an associate head coach for a decade. And when you're working in that position as an associate head coach, the program hand in hand is yours along with Dave. So many relationships that she was a part of. And then as a player, my goodness, a member of the 93-94 Olympic Festival Volleyball, played professionally in France, holds so many records and held so many records in the history of this program. She's a wildcat through and through. And boy, this would be a, a nice shocker to take a run back. Snatch back this first set. They've got work to do. They've got to be perfect. ASU last year was nine and six when they won the first set, five and four in conference. They won the first set, then went on to lose the Arizona, USC, Washington, Stanford, SMU, and Colorado State. They still have to win this first set, though. The senior with the serve. Lucky number two. It's a gentle touch by Marta. That was not gentle at all, but that was deep. Set number one lights up this crowd, and it goes to the Devils. They have been a quite a run of sweeps, and they hope they can do it again. Arizona is not, not going down easily, though. What a great atmosphere on campus here in Tempe, Arizona. Back in a moment. After I lost my mom, I was depressed and resentful. I couldn't find my way, but I am not lost. I should know. I work in behavior health for youth advocate programs, yet I empower Blessing with tools so she can see her strengths and set positive goals. As a little kid, I experienced trauma and I acted out. Made some mistakes, but I'm not a mistake. No, she's a good student and a great kid. As Jalen's YAP advocate, I'm always here for her. 
We need YAP. The youth and the communities, they need strong support systems. I try to help the youth understand if you have a change of mindset, you can have a change of action. YAP gives communities alternatives to residential care, youth incarceration, and neighborhood violence. After completing our program, nearly 90% of participants remain in their community. YAP works. And now finding joy and excited about my future. Youth Advocate Programs. Others talk social change. We make it happen. Some things are better left to a professional. In hindsight, <laughs> probably shouldn't have tried to remove my own appendix. Like when it comes to finding financial advisors. What was I thinking? So leave it to Smart Asset to find them for you. Take the free quiz at smartasset.com. Then you'll be matched with up to three vetted fiduciary financial advisors. To get started, take the advisor match quiz now at smartasset.com. I was this close. This close. Pac-12 Women's Volleyball is brought to you by Watch Sports. Find Pac-12 action and connect to watch. Download the Watch Sports app from the App Store. I'll find my way to that app for sure to hang on to what the energy that has been provided for this one tonight. An intimate setting in a gorgeous brand new building here at Mullet. With a brand new head coach who is yet to lose. Two new coaches on the other side. One is never coached at the Power Five level. J.J. Van Neal, there was a time where, as a younger coach, Jarita Stubbs was the head coach, as we talked about earlier, at NC State. On to set two now. We saw a lot of what we expected to see. Sofia Maldonado Diaz, key. Marta Levinska, key. Shannon Shields, efficient. Jelly Sear with beautiful passing. Mary Schroll, the new libero, was important. Also, some big swings from athletes like Jordan Wilson for the Cats, Jalen Hodge, AJ Elena Johnson. Some great moments there as well. Nicole Briggs will start at middle blocker. She'll rotate on from Chino, California. Number 22 in that red jersey. So we'll see Briggs out there. The karate purple belt look to contribute. Abello. Campfire. Everyone gathered round. That's the perfect dink, isn't it? And the kill for Abello that time. Gabrielle and Patrick, the parents of Shannon Shields, right there on 7th Avenue in downtown Phoenix is where Xavier College Prep resides. And that's where she went to school as that one sails into the seats up over our head. I actually think Xavier's on 7th Street, just the other side of Central where she played. But she has found a home here, and this is her finest year. She and Levenska have an answer right up against them. As that one is wide, Hodge was right there with the attempt, and a kill for Marta. Shania Cromartis from Tallahassee, Florida, transferred from Mississippi State, by the way, in high school, Tallahassee, state champion high jumper, 4x400, four multiple state champions, track star as well, track and field, include the field. Great effort there, but unable to dig it out. Schroll. But volleyball is her sport now, Shields. Does it well, just like Cromarty, as we see there. Service error sends it back the other way. Point Devils, 3-2 the number. Mary's mom played at Northern Arizona. Sisters both played, Caitlin and Taylor, as she serves it. 
Caitlin played at Embry Riddle, Taylor Benedictine College. She goes airborne to keep that one alive, does Mary. From Marty with the swing, dug out by Anna Heath. Point Wildcats pull even at three. Georgia with a pretty set that time. A little bit firm on that swing by Habello, a seer, I should say, a rare miss hit. We expect for that to never happen. Well, the Cats, it's been wins over Pacific, Long Island University, Grand Canyon, New Mexico State, and Alabama State as they hand the point back. Opening the year, five and six overall. Those are the victories, though. Losses to UC Davis, North Carolina, Iowa State, Wisconsin, Miami, and Long Beach State. But we're just starting. Just opening the conference, having to deal with hammers like that. Jordan Wilson, Mia and Herman, her parents, grew up here that one year at USC. Thirty, three hundred and thirty-three kills for USC last year. Beautiful dig by the libero from Italy. Couldn't keep it alive that time. Point Devils. 5-5. Five, five. Jelly will serve it. Sear is from Flower Mound, Texas. He's a business major. Right at 500 career kills for Jelly Sear. And speaking of kills, one for Wilson. Wilson had 13 kills, hit 370 in the win over LIU. Ray started it with the serve. And Doty is a ball of fire as a libero. Nothing you could do with that, though. Cheater time. Claire's from Missouri City, Texas. She went to Point Ridge High School. He was a prepvolleyball.com All-American. And she was a Shannon Shields target that time. Beautiful back set. He finding the big swing of Elena Johnson, that six foot three inch frame and so athletic. But we'll talk about the leverage you can create. Johnson's from Worthington, Ohio, went to Thomas Worthington High School. Team captain, team MVP, and a four-time scholar-athlete, so an incredible student. Tortorello started it with the serve. Levinska runs into a mess right there at the net. Briggs was there, Hodge was there. To see number 22, Nicole Briggs from Chino, California. Great basketball player in high school, too. Tortorello wants to go on a run. Let's see if she can. From the attack line, beautiful. Right down the power alley from the attack line, and it killed 9-6 the number. Has a wildcat feel to it. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going. Ava on a bit of a run. Mom Elizabeth played volleyball in college. Dad, Brian, Tortorello's parents played college tennis. Abello. <laughs> Abello is a freshman. That's some big moments. Gets 17 kills in two different matches against a Arizona. So they saw her, they knew her, she knew them her freshman year. And a win and a loss in those two matches. Sear, incredible. At that time though, 
Chance to see Briggs go to work. Briggs coming in with 31 kills on the year. 28 total blocks. Briggs had four kills and six total blocks against North Carolina in a five-setter. Anna Heath, Murphy, Texas. Away she goes with the serve. Beautiful touch. Levinska with the kill. 10-8 Cats. Yeah, Heath also deserves some focus, too, as the setter for this Arizona team, as Cromarty will serve it. Sylvia and Ricky, her parents. There's Heath now. Shields her counterpart to Levinska. Bodies collide. No damage done. Point Devils. So Marty's got a couple of aces and six swings at it this year. How about another? How about three aces? Shania right inside that back line. Leon High School is where she was a track star as well in Tallahassee, Florida. Won a 6A state title there. Hello, tough serve again. Heath. Beautiful, but a great job on the other side. Schroll flexing. Can she do it again? Sear this time does. Aldonado Diaz with a big swing. Jelly Hammer! Sear with the kill with the great play a moment ago. I'm telling you, the advanced metrics love her season. They love what she has done. Most efficient passer in the country. The number three top outside hitter at 98.9 percentile. But an answer right on back to quiet this crowd. Beautiful. That's Jalen Hodge. Hodge, 1,100 career kills. 1,213 career points coming in. Jalen starts it with the serve. Number 11 serves it. We're locked up at 11 in set number two. Jelly Sierra there again with a punch deep toward that back line. Schrall sets it up. Looks like a block. Didn't occur. Kept alive, ASU. Beautiful touch. That decision was made by Anna Heath. Alex and Andy, her siblings. Matter of fact, her cousin Colton England. Heath, that is, Anna Heath. Lightweight fighter, UFC. Interesting athlete to add to your family. I'm sure he was a high school wrestler. Buck 25 class, maybe, high school wrestler. Let's go with the miss swing, 13-11. We get to call the name of McLaughlin. Maddie, the psychology major, transferred in from SUNY Genesio, all conference there from East Aurora, New York. And 56 kills coming in, did Maddie? Daughter of Mary and Peter McLaughlin. Schroll will serve it. Right through the hands, you betcha. Swing was deep, but it was powerful and a kill. Fourteen twelve Arizona. Mandotti started it with the serve. Troll there. Shannon 
Back set, Levinska. Troll, Shields, Levinska. You've got a feeling you'll be talking that, that trio together. Defense turns into offense very quickly. 14-13. Marta serves. Power, just pure power. Heath sets Maldonado Diaz. Anna Heath coming in, 379 assists. Anna has been important in this one as well. 15-13. Within 15 seconds of logging onto social media, the algorithm has your daughter in its crosshairs, leading to the worst rates of eating disorders, self-harm, and suicide we have ever known, all while she's sitting right next to you on her phone. Congress knows, but it refuses to act. Use your voice. Demand a plan. Join us at the Center for Countering Digital Hate, protectingkidsonline.org. If you're not here for Fandom 101, you're in the wrong class. Here, we learn the fundamentals of fanology, the basics of bringing the noise, and the physics of bringing it out. Your path to fan mastery begins here. It's all part of the curriculum. The NCAA Championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. This season will be like no other, and the conference that exemplifies champions marks a legacy moment in the city that defines extraordinary. The 2023 Pac-12 Football Championship Game, Friday, December 1st. The top two teams in the conference leave it all on the field, live at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. Secure your seat now. Visit pack-12.com slash tickets today. No timeouts, no huddles. Just nonstop game action cut down into one fast and furious hour. Football in 60 is the ideal football fix for the busy Pac-12 fan. Catch football in 60 anytime on demand. Only on Pac-12 Network. Darren Sutton, glad to have you back on campus. ASU, perfect to start this season. Played a handful of sub-500 teams. It's their sixth match of their last seven against teams below 500. But Washington's coming up next. They're receiving votes. And then Stanford, who's fourth in the nation. Washington, by the way, in the unofficial RPI at that 25 mark. For Stanford at the four mark, RPI and rankings. As we wait just a moment to get started. been a good one if you're just hanging out with us for the first couple of moments the crowd is great 942 crew students and starving for something on campus besides football which they love and they love that Levinska with the hammer yeah there's the depth there's there's the mosh pit there in the front but then it's deep i mean the the way that you can see that's a great shot there with the student body back and then all the way up filling the entire side a great visual sophia with the crush we're just a few days past Mexico's Independence Day on September 16th, the day of celebration. Sofia Maldonado Diaz proudly representing Guadalajara, Jalisco in Mexico. As she digs that one out. Schroll. Shield, Sabello that time. Nothing you could do. As a matter of fact, was Maldonado Diaz with another kill. Her roommate... A freshman, a player from Mexico. There she slaps 10 right there with her roommate, Georgia Mandoti. The two of them room together. And you think about it for Georgia. You come to a new country, certainly. You make a choice to come. You're an excellent volleyball player. You're playing key minutes as there she is there with the dig your freshman year. But you've got someone that could be your mentor as your roommate to be 
stumble into Jeter with the kill, to stumble into having a senior as your roommate. That's good stuff, and that's exactly the global roommates, if you will. But the Netherlands is represented. Book Stuba. Shield, she'll freelance. She'll do that on occasion, as we told you. She had 29 kills coming in. And that's where the three inch vert helps. When you add three inches to your vertical leap, you do that. And that's the kind of work she put in. Jeter with the serve. Heath. And a beautiful set that time to Jalen Hodge. You think about Hodge, 2.38 kills per set her freshman year, 3.27 this year. It's a jump of a full kill per set. Cotarello wants to go on a service run. It's not going to happen. Habello with the kill. Remember, calling ASU volleyball matches right around and after the pandemic, and Habello couldn't get back home to Brazil even during the break when things were completely shut down. It's a long time, first year to be away from her family. Give her a lot of credit. Obviously, she's been able to get home since. Wow. Troll. Troll initially with an incredible dig, but just another massive swing by Maldonado Diaz. 1917, getting deep for the Cats. Wiley High School, Murphy, Texas. That's Anna Heath. Service error that time. She played for Coach Sherry Oliveras at Wiley High School. Crow with the serve, Shania Crow Marty. Boy, excellent hands by Shania. Does this work out? Let's see. Wow, what a play. Crow Marty with incredible hands. Are they going to get this point? Let's see. You've got to when you pull something off like that. Ah, we're playing some volleyball now, aren't we? Cromarty again leaves her feet. Big swing, Sear set up by Shields. Now it's Heath, and it's crushed. Beautiful cut shot. Great back and forth, though, between these two teams. It was Cromarty deep. Here's the swing by Maldonado Diaz. Obviously, Schroll keeps it live, running right into the mosh pit. And then the touch by Cromarty over the net. That was fun. 2018, Cats, 2019, they handed a point away with a service error. <laughs> Corona del Sol High School in Tempe is where Schroll was a captain when she played in high school. Went out to Loyola Marymount, now is home as a graduate. Block of the net, Devils. Sear, Jeter. Yeah, she put the wall up. You talk about Corona, by the way, they're the reigning 6A state champs. Oh, the net was kind. Schroll with the ace for this team that leads the conference in aces. 21-20. Just wide, tried to cut that one. Thought she might have gotten some hands, but she didn't. Beautiful job by ASU, making it very interesting. They're on their own little run now, up 22-20. You think about this program, and 
when you earn three aces per set, that's three points. That's such a big swing where the other team doesn't even have a chance. Marta leads the Pac-12, top 15 in the country. Shields, you can see she's third in the conference, had six aces against Little Rock and Troll. Tied for third in this conference as well. Coming in just for the discussion, ASU had 100 aces, Arizona 51. I mean, that's that's kind of the difference in these two teams. And so I asked JJ, how does a team improve so much in one area? And he said, simply put, it's the first thing I talked about him when we went to work. We focused on a lot. And he said, our team got better. He said, I'm obsessed with analytics. I really am, but I'm not stuck on them. And I knew in this area we could help ourselves. Five seasons at USC was the associate head coach, helping them to three NCAA tournaments in 18 and 19 and 22. It's a 4-0 run for ASU. Troll with the serve to crank things up. Just wide, climbed over the net. Point Devils. Wilson thought again she might land it, might get some hands. But on that cut shot, unable to do so. 5-0 run. And Mary starts it. Heath with a tough set that time at Maldonado, outside the mark. Looking to win the second set, and a timeout is called. Stubbs wants to pause things for just a moment. Last year, Charita coached one of the top defenses in the nation, Ziana Fellows, Elena Johnson. They were, they were block you. I mean, they really, really were. And they changed the matches playing that way. 2021. Marilla White. Diana Fellows. Pac-12 rankings and blocks and assists. Devin Cross in 2018 was such a great player at All-American that year. Panina Snuka. Kalea Mao. 2016. All-Americans as well. Such a rich history with Dave Rubio as the head and right by his side. The leadership of the current head coach now. You gotta remember too for Van Neal, earning his degree in business administration from USC Marshall School of Business. He went right into the finance world. He got a quote unquote real job, not the coaching college volleyball, is it a real job? It's a very hard and involved job. But he immediately went into the finance world. But then his passions pulled him back. Working with Coast Volley Club, called Volleyball Club in San Diego, doing the UCSD men's program, Utah, USC, no longer in the uh, investment banking world, finances. Little joust at the net for a moment, kept alive. Cromarty in self-defense couldn't pull that miracle off. It's 24-21. She was kind of tipping back too on that big massive swing that time. And a quick conversation. Looking to pull this together, set point number two. Stubbs watching this one very closely. Just confirming the call, 24-21. Georgia Mendotti with the serve. I love Georgia's answer. What's your order at Starbucks? They asked her, what would you get? All the fancy drinks that were listed 
by the Wildcats. She listed my favorite did Georgia. She's about to serve it. And a quick call of a timeout. She said very simply, espresso. Thank you, Georgia. Thank you so much. This is crowd. And now we're going to challenge. Sun Devils challenging the call now. So with DV Sport, we'll get together. We'll look at all the angles we can find that they can find. If we're looking for a touch, it was tough to see. If that's what we're looking for. But Van Neal wants to take a look anyway. Van Neal also experienced quite a bit of experience with the UN's women's and the US women's national team. Unable to overturn that when it appears. So 24-21. As Joy Gallus comes on. Number 12 in that red jersey for Arizona. Senior from Truckee, California. George is serving it. Big hands at the net for Arizona. Sear with a gorgeous touch. And Doty keeps it alive with a diving dig. Back set, Levinska, bang! They went on a big time run. ASU looking for their 10th sweep of the season. Hang with us. Permanent smile, certainly, when you're playing like ASU is playing, and then they bring their road game back home in front of their fellow students, their classmates, and then local club volleyball players who have come out to fill this thing. It's such a great scene in this community as it pertains to local volleyball. Sparky sat down by my side, messing up all my notes. And, uh, look at this. This is They're good. You don't need notes to know they're good, do you? You, they're good. You don't need any notes, do you? 
writing a note. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if, if it's legal and family friendly, I'll. It says, "Wow, I got a great job from Sparky. Come on." Hold on, there's more. Oh, he's signing it. The Y has a pitchfork on it, by the way. The S has some devil's horns. Number one, Sparky Peace, man. That was beautiful. Yeah, look at that. We're right up there. Good. Yeah. Well done. You know where the camera is. I need a color analyst. You're here. Sparky settles in. <laughs> here we go. Shannon Shields starts it with the serve. Beautiful back set. I think what was so pretty about that, it was over the head of Mary Schroll. Schroll was in between the two. That didn't matter. The great anticipation from Levinska. First point to the Devils. Watch Schroll in the middle of all this. Okay, clear out. <laughs> Hands out by her side. This tough serving team sets up another tough one. Sophia with a big swing, though. Marta Levinska with another kill. ASU against Washington. That's who's next for them. U of A against Washington State. They're 10 and 1. They got Iman Isanovich, who transferred out to go to Washington State from ASU. Those are the next couple of matchups. There's that name again that we talked about, Jordan Wilson. Last time, there was a sweep of Arizona by ASU, September, home opener, 2019. McLaughlin, bang. Cromarty with the serve. 3 2 the number. And for ASU coming up next, Washington will be on Pac 12 Networks. Go find it. One o'clock start, Sunday, September 24th. Then next weekend, it's on the road to Northern California. Point Cats that time to Stanford and Cal. An ace, Sophia. That one knuckles on over. Floater, sear, crushed. Jelly had a thousand kills in her career at Flower Mound High School. Had a thousand digs. Had just under a thousand aces in her three years. What a career. That's just high school. Shields angry with herself. That's just about unstoppable. From that attack line flying through the air, right down the power alley in a hammer. Of the personality and sense of humor and the leadership of Stubbs. Marta, another Lovinska, reigning offensive player of the week in this conference. Her first year on campus, 3.1 kills per set this year. It's right at four. Twelve hundred kills in her dynamic career. She's gone past that mark now. Sear with a good decision. Block arrow wide, put the hands up. Point cats, five five. Again, they work together, and again, to perfection. 
a variation of perfection. Into the hands, the block attempt, the Cats rolled up against the net on the other side. All state competitors here in high school back in 2019 and all American in 2020. 6-6 six, six the number. 13th service error on the year for Jelly Sear. Mad Frog Volleyball Club. That's where Anna Heath played. What a fun name for a really good club. That's a tough serve. Goodness. Shields. Wow. Shannon Shields. Incredible anticipation. What a heady player. Watch this. Beautiful. The lift that time. Sending Mendoti backwards. Gorgeous bump. And killing me softly that time, Sofia Maldonado Diaz. She walked away from that one. She knew exactly when it touched her fist, as with her hands clasped together, that she had made the right decision. She walked that one off. Tough serve. Abello. Right into the knuckles and nearly the, the face of Anna Heath. Nothing she could do about it. 8-7 the number, ASU on top. We're glad you're stopped and hanging out with us tonight. This is a fun one, a good atmosphere. Shannon serves it. Xavier Gator. The great night for at least one cat for sure continues in Maldonado Diaz. The great career continues. He was a Pac-12's freshman of the year a couple of years back. Her roommate serves it. Gianluca and Giovanna, the parents of Georgia Mandotti. Mandotti. Why is it that you have to clench your fingers together when you speak Italian? Which I'm clearly not doing. Point Devils that time. Shania rotates in. Cromartie with the serve. She had six digs earlier this year against Memphis. She's got an ace. Fourth of the year. She took a shot. Into the net it goes. Tallahassee, Florida. Mississippi State. Now she's found her volleyball home. The one-time high jump champ from Marty. <laughs> Jelly Sear adds to her resume tonight. <laughs> When you speak about Jelly, by the way, that's Coach's partner in the card game. Vignette is what they play. That's the card game, and she's a good one. Point doubles. Yeah, Sear, speaking of Jelly, Sear, there's a lot of cards going on. She's really good. Coach's partner. And a timeout called by the Wildcats. We will step aside. Boy, it has been coming up aces if we're talking about cards tonight for the home team. Some things are better left to a professional. In hindsight, <laughs> probably shouldn't have tried to remove my own appendix. Like when it comes to finding financial advisors. What was I thinking? So leave it to Smart Asset to find them for you. Take the free quiz at smartasset.com. Then you'll be matched with up to three vetted fiduciary financial advisors. To get started, take the advisor match quiz now at smartasset.com. I was this close. 
It's close. Hey, hey, ho, ho. It's V-Ball season. Y'all ready to go? Welcome to Fandom 101. We'll teach you the how-tos to make you the libero of the bleachers. Your path to fan mastery begins here. It's all part of the curriculum. The NCAA Division I Women's Volleyball Championship this December in Tampa. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash volleyball. Class dismissed. Pac-12 Our Stories takes you behind the curtain to bring you the most compelling and emotional stories from the Conference of Champions. My dad always told me, control what you can control. I nailed it down to football when I realized I truly have some talent in this sport. Cal football has been the most amazing place to embrace our family. Pac-12 Our Stories. Watch the latest episode anytime on Pac-12 Now. JJ, man, Neil calls Shannon so much fun to work with. Loves putting recruits' parents with her because of her sense of humor. And she has been so important. Shields tonight, again, fantastic in sharing. But also, she's got four kills. Quick decisions, improvement in her athleticism. Passing has been elite. We've seen this happen time and time again. And just a moment ago, went southpaw, stuck that tongue out, you betcha. Let alone her ability to work with Levinska, work with Sear, work with McLaughlin. As Shields has 30 kills this year, she had 22 all of last season. It was in her game. That's a great number. That's not even comparable to who she is this year. Beautiful pancake by Habello. Levinska. What a gorgeous decision. 1913. Just a, a little dink off the fingertips. Reenactment, even. She shows Jelly how she made that decision. 1913. Claire serves. Just outside that line. And another kill that time for Maldonado Diaz. Block error. Joy Gallus will serve it. Actually was born in Rio in Brazil. Grew up in Truckee, California. Tahoe Truckee High School. Play for Jason Sturette's travel team, NNJ in Reno, Nevada. She'll serve it now. They serve to start things. McLaughlin hung in the air long enough. Chance to reset completely. Do they ever? Habello dug out beautifully by Heath. We're playing now, aren't we? Beautiful back and forth we go on that rally, and the point goes to the Devils. Kill Habello, 2014. Talked about his time, did J.J. work with Brad Keller? Said he helped me with the relationship piece a lot. We've always done that. We play games on the road. We play card games on a trip. J.J. saying that we have been intentional going back to last spring where we'll try to connect with the player as we'll take a look at this one again. Try to connect with the player and then have a meal with them. And the rule is when you have a meal with coach, 
You don't talk about volleyball at all. Go ahead. They're challenging the back row line here. Well, Arizona challenging that. Coach Stubbs takes a look. There were nine players that remained for ASU when Van Neal took over. Nine players that he didn't recruit. You saw Shields hurry past the attack line there. And then you get some transfers that find their way. There was one player he said I recruited. That was Shannon when I was at Utah. I think both these coaches would say what J.J. Van Neal said, that my players that I took over and their investment in the program made me work harder, made me come more prepared every day. As we continue to take a look at it, that one. Marta with her 70th career match, by the way. Levinska having another hop on my shoulders kind of night. 70th time she's had double digit kills. That's tied for fourth all time in program history. She's special. She's having an All American type year this year to start things. Arizona will host Washington State on Sunday at 1 o'clock. They will go on that same Northern California road trip. They'll take on Cal and Stanford. Crowd getting antsy. Students chant the devil chant. These two will meet again on the 25th day of November. Don't look at my calendar that far in advance too often, but something tells me that's watch Shields. Hurry back across. The next time these two meet, two days after Thanksgiving. Lengthy delay for this one. We continue to decide. This conference this week had a ton of teams who received votes. Washington, UCLA, USC, but ASU received the most of any other. Stanford's ranked fourth. Oregon's ranked sixth. Looks like they're going to reverse this one. You could actually see the numbers. And a great challenge by Stubbs. You could see the numbers and how Shields tried to sneak across the attack line. All right, 1915. Here we go. 
Jenna goes right back to work. Abello, that's dug out beautifully. It's kept alive, but it's not now. Gallus with a great attempt at a dig over there. Abello with the kill, the Brazilian. Now there's 20, and it's 2015. They get one right back. Shields has been incredible tonight and her final home opener in her career. Sear digs it out, a beautiful swing on the other side. Abello into those hands with effect, 21-15. Just three sweeps last year for ASU. That's crazy, isn't it? Bakersfield, Evansville, and Cal. Shocked when I just <laughs> read that great note. <laughs> Jelly Sear on a beautiful swing on the other side by Wilson. Boy, is she special. Let's see if we see Wilson again. Nope. Maldonado Diaz. Abello leaving her feet on the backside. Pretty play by Gallus. A lift on the other side. 22 15. Arizona trying to avoid being swept for the fourth time this year. Great stories we see. Journey Tucker come out, the freshman from Buckeye, Arizona, for Auto High School, number 35 in that jersey. What a thrill. The punch is wide, 23-15. Yeah, big, big future for the local product, Tucker, playing limited tonight, but she's out there now with her team looking to pull something off quickly. Shields again. Shannon with an ace. Nine sweeps in the last three seasons combined for ASU. They're looking for their 10th this year. Aldonado Diaz bumps it over. Shannon sets Levinska. Big swing. That'll do it. It's another sweep for the Devils. Ten on the year. This time in the home opener. This time against their rivals. It's their first sweep of the Arizona Wildcats since the home opener back in 2019. And it's the fourth time the Cats have been swept this year. What a difference a year makes. J.J. Van Neel, his leadership, his touch, the demand of culture. He asks a single question when recruiting a player, does Van Neel. If you were stuck in a flight from L.A. to New York, no headphones, no devices, and you enjoyed your conversation the entire time, that's the kind of player I want on my team. The character, the culture matters. I love the cross-country flight test. And this team is flying high right now. ASU, an incredible start to the year. The home opener for Coach J.J. Van Neal. He's never lost as a head coach. Off to a 13-0 start. Want to thank our entire production team here on campus, certainly up in Northern California as well. The number one conference in the land as it pertains to volleyball and an incredible start to the year for ASU. On behalf of our entire team, my name is Darren Sutton. See you back on campus very soon. Have a good night.